from a young age, you learn to count to 10. We're gonna revisit that. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We're gonna figure out how to count in binary. If you want to understand technology, it's actually good to understand how to count in binary. Now, tech people don't go around doing it. We don't, you know, have a couple drinks and show off to each other that we can do it. But it is important to actually to understand how it works. But before we can do that, we have to actually understand how to count in decimal. The count that you have been doing since you were three, four, five, six years old, that counting, it's important to understand how that actually works. One of the things I taught my kids is how to count starting at zero. Why? Because I'm a tech person. So we actually go from zero through nine. That is actually 10 numbers. So how do you do that? You start at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here at nine, you have run out of numbers, right? There's no more numbers left. So what do you do? You reset your nine back to zero and you move over and add a digit. You've been doing this your whole life and you're like, okay, why is this guy telling me how to do this? Just understand and remember that methodology. You count up to the maximum and then you increment the digit next to you. Now that we're at 10, that zero goes one through nine. So now we're at one nine, we're at 19. We can't go any higher than nine. So we need to increment that next digit over to a two. And then we go back to zero, we're at 20. Now we do this over and over again, we're at 99. What has to happen now? These two numbers can't go any higher. The nines both turn to a zero and you add a digit. Okay, enough of that. I know you understand that. So how do we count in binary? Remember binary only has two numbers, zeros and ones. We're going to start at zero, the same place we start in decimal. You start at zero and you switch to a one. We're counting up. But now that we're in binary, there is no higher number than a one in binary. So what do we do? We switch that to a zero and we move one place over and now we have one zero. We don't have 10, we have one zero. Now, what do we do now? With that zero, can it get higher? Yes. So that zero, the one zero, will go up now to a one one. Can that one go any higher than a one? Nope. So now we're going to switch to zero. Oh, the next one, we're gonna switch to a zero. And now we have to go to a third digit. We're at one zero zero. That one is zero zero. What are we gonna do? Again, the smallest digit to the right is going to go to a one. So now we're at one, zero, one. Now what do we go up to? One, zero, one is where we're at. Now we go to one, one, zero. Remember, we go back to zero, we reset back to zero, and we increment the next number. So I want you to practice this. I know this sounds weird, but whenever you get stuck in counting in binary, Think about the rules of the way you learned it, although you weren't taught these rules likely when counting in decimal. Uh, again, if you're 100 in decimal, you go to 101, 102, all the way to 109, and then that flips to 110, 110. In binary, you're doing the exact same thing. You are incrementing as high as you can for the rightmost place until you get to the highest number possible, which is only one. And then once we reach that, it resets back to zero and we increment the next digit over. All the way up to as many bits and bytes as we want. Now, the cool thing is, is that these binary strings actually equal, there's a conversion from what we call binary to decimal. So if we have one, 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 that actually equals seven. So there is a binary equivalent from from binary to decimal. So you and I can communicate. So there's actually numbers in them in computers called IP addresses, that those are actually binary to a computer, but they're decimal to us. So we can say 192.168.0.10. We can say that as tech people to each other, instead of saying 
one, 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 or whatever, zero, whatever we're going to say. So the exercise here is practice counting in binary. I know it sounds odd. It will help you in the future. It's a good skill to have. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because you probably want to learn more about this, I suspect. Thank you.